today we have a treat for you. Joanne has a great topic to go over and really it's almost like an open discussion. So it's gonna run a little bit different than most J&J &J marketing cafes. We wanted to be able to be a little bit more interactive with everyone and um, just have a better discussion. So today's topic is I am an artist. Um, and Joanne, well, let me back up a moment. I am Jessica Lempin with Photo Art Pavilion. I feel like most of you know me. So hello and welcome. And thank you for joining us. And Joanne Hennig, my business partner here at Photo Art Pavilion. Um, again, she has such a great topic and a great um, different way to do a marketing cafe. So Joanne, without further ado, let's jump into it. I know everyone's excited. Hey, everybody. How are we doing? <laughs> nice to see all your smiling faces. I love this. I wanted to uh, take this month of February to kind of take a pause a little bit from all of the technical stuff that we speak about on a month to month basis. I feel like uh, we can easily get bogged down with the different tools that we ask you to use on a month to month basis on the different ideas that we send you and it gets a little bit cumbersome and a little bit a uh, little bit scratchy. So. What I wanted to do was kind of step away from all the technical stuff and take the month of February, which is the month of love, the Valentine month. And let's give ourselves a little self care in the word that we love to use or we should be able to use a little bit more fluently when we talk about ourselves. And that is introducing yourself as an artist. So if you find it difficult to introduce yourself as an artist, you're not alone. And, uh, it's not something that some of us have the ability to have that roll off our tongue so easily for some of us, and yet it's critical to be able to say these words with confidence. So I want to try and have a, a little bit of a discussion with you today and take notes if you want, but if you want to just sit back and listen, that's that's fine too, because I just want to try and be able to shift your mental your mental process with the way you think about yourself when you're out there in the world talking with folks about who you are and what it is that you do. So introducing yourself as an artist can be a challenging task at times as it requires some confidence in yourself and in your abilities. Many artists find it difficult to assert themselves as such, despite the creativity and the magic that art embodies in us. However, what I have learned in all the years that I've uh, been representing art photographers and the art photography business is that artists do not introduce themselves as artists, which is kind of curious to me. So you may believe that the title of artist is something that's reserved for people with art degrees or art certifications, yet there is no official governing body that confers the title of artist to any one of us. There's no need to pass any licensing boards or call yourself an artist. Being an artist is often a slow and steady process, and there is no clear moment when you officially respond to the question, what do you do with I am an artist? It should be something that flows naturally to you. So let me drill down a little bit. To overcome this challenge, and I use the word challenge very loosely, to overcome this challenge, you must summon summon a little courage. So remember at this moment, your goal is to present yourself as the way you want others to see you, okay? Do you believe you're an artist? Believing in yourself and acting as if you already have received all those blue ribbons, gallery representation, well attended shows, or whatever it else that you feel in your mind is the level that classifies somebody as an artist. You want to be able to convey that not only to yourself, but also to those people that are talking with you and that you're meeting. So the confidence to refer to yourself as an artist is so, so important. And why? Every person that you meet may be a collector or may have connections to opportunities for your art career. Therefore, introducing yourself as an artist is critical to lead with the fact that you are an artist. It doesn't matter if you make a living in doing something else or you know, don't make a living in doing anything else if you're retired and you're, but you're putting your passion, your time, your effort, your energy into art. 
then you are in fact an artist. There is nothing else to explain about that simple fact. So it's important to remember that first impressions is just the beginning of a per professional relationship and that by leading with the fact that you are an artist, you open the door to opportunities for yourself. So what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to uh, open up your mind mentally. We feel like artists when we're sitting in front of that computer and we're, we're behind the camera or doing some other type of artistic work. But the minute that somebody says to me, what is it that you do? Some of us lock up. So I'm trying to break that, that mental jam, that log jam that's in your head. So it's essential to remember that introducing yourself as an artist is not a one time opportunity or a chance to make a sale on the spot. The first impression is very important, but it should be framed as an introduction and a starting point for building a relationship. Genuine interest and curiosity in the potential of the relationship is what leads to opportunities, not a memorized sales pitch. So when introducing yourself, you have to have the confidence in your work and enthusiasm for sharing that with others. Your art comes from your heart. Remember, this is the month of love. This is February, the month of, of the heart. Your art comes from your heart and people are inspired by the passion that you have for your artwork. This enthusiasm should come through in your voice, in your facial expressions, whenever you are talking to someone about being an artist and about your art. So informal introductions, like the ones you give in response to small talk at an art opening are used more frequently when form, uh, than formal introductions. When someone asks, so what do you do? How do you respond? They are mostly being polite when they ask that question. They're exploring how far they want to carry a conversation with you. But when someone says, so what do you do? It's important to keep in mind that people don't usually ask for your life story or the history of your art. They're just looking for something to relate to. So the perfect response to what is it that you do is I'm an artist. So if you'd like to expand your response, you could start by saying, I'm an artist, I make X, Y, Z. Repeating and verbalizing this to yourself until it sounds natural is probably a good thing. Maybe as you're in the car heading over to your next art exhibit, you can you know, practice your response in the car. I'm an artist, I make X, Y, Z. I'm an artist, I make X, Y, Z. But remember, it's as simple as responding with I am an artist first and adding something that best represents your art. For me, I am an artist. I, my work is primarily focused on nature. And then I could take it from there because I'm leaving the, the, uh, the second sentence, if you will, I am primarily focused on nature, a little bit open for inviting another question to come in. And then I, if they want to ask that second question, then I could dive in with a little bit more information. But I'm starting my response with, I am an artist. Okay, so keep in mind that introducing yourself as an artist is not a sales pitch or a commercial. It's a chance for a meaningful conversation. Allow your introduction to evolve with practice over time and don't be too hard on yourself if it doesn't come out perfectly perfect right away. When introducing yourself, the focus should be on building a relationship with your other person that you're speaking with rather than on perfection or what you can get out of the interaction. Remember, we're not looking to provide a sales pitch, we're looking to uh, provide a response. So your, rep your response should come out naturally and confidently without any pressure of trying to fit too much information into one soundbite. So it's important to use inviting and intriguing language when introducing yourself as an artist, as it allows for potential long-term relationships to flourish. By speaking with confidence and being prepared, you will be able to connect with people who you are meant to connect with. We're not going to sit back and worry about all the other things that we have to do in the course of the day as you know, preparing our artwork and all the other things that, that come around our art and our creativity. As an artist, you have a lot of other bigger things to concern yourself with. So what we wanna be able to do is just start with the simple commentary that I am an artist 
I make X, Y, Z. If we could take that uh, little bit of a statement and we could build that into something a little bit more meaningful, when you get into these situations, you're opening up the ability to have a casual conversation with someone that's going to be genuinely interested in who you are and what it is that you do and how they might be able to work with you in the future on, on, a, on, a, on a, a deeper basis. And that's really the crux of today's conversation. I didn't want to overload all of you with deep thoughts on how to use Canva and social media and direct email campaigns and on and on and on and on. And on. Well, maybe you do want to set up a direct email campaign about I am an artist simply getting back out there and introducing to your audience who you are, what it is you do, what you make. What we do is special. I believe it in my heart. I've been doing this since 2007. I think it's very special what we do, what we create, and what we offer the world. And we do offer it to the world. Being with Photo Art Pavilion, having our artwork available on the internet, on the world wide web, our art is available for people to see from anywhere in the world that can access that website. So standing behind your artwork, standing behind your artwork confidently with the uh, understanding that you truly are an artist and feeling that passionately from your heart, I think is a very, very good place to begin any journey that you're looking to open up in 2023 and beyond. So that's my commentary for today. I told you it was going to be short. I told you it was going to be sweet. I told you I wasn't going to bog you down. And uh, I, I hope you didn't have to take a lot of notes because I really wanted you to just listen in. I want you to feel it. I want to empower you, all of you, to feel uh, very, very confident and very strong about what it is that you do on a day-to-day -day basis and never diminish, never feel less than. When someone says to you, what do you do? And you say, I'm an artist, you should feel confident. If someone, you know, don't feel that you have to say, well, I'm a biomedical engineer, because that's not who you are. You're an artist. And let's stick with that. And let's be proud of that. And let's go forth doing that uh, for, for the rest of our lives, because we enjoy it so much. So I'd like to um, pause. I'd like to take a moment and just kind of sit back and let this resonate. And I would love to open up the chat room, uh, open up conversations with any of you to talk about how you do represent yourself when you speak to others, uh, if there's a different way that you would like to share with the rest of the audience on how it is that you speak when you're in a, in a uh, public forum, when someone asks you, what do you do? Or someone is in an art gallery and says to you, oh, who are you? Oh, I'm Joanne Hennig. I'm an art photographer. I'm an artist. I do this. These are my images. This is what I do. Getting deeper into the conversation. How do you go about that? How do you make it flow without it being a sales pitch? Because nobody wants a sales pitch. Nobody wants that. So I'm opening the floor up. Uh, if anybody would like to jump in, add to the conversation, I think uh, I would welcome that. And I, I know my friend Sharon's going to have a word or two to say. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my God, you're an artist and a psychic. Ah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was just going to say that I, you know, I procrastinated for a really long time creating a website, which the photos actually lead to Photo Art Pavilion once you click up. But anyway. And then, so once I did that, I was very happy to have business cards. And if it's appropriate, um, it doesn't seem like the sales pitch. I never leave the house without uh, business cards on me because I've had conversations in very different settings, not art settings necessarily. And people say, oh, what do you do? And then I start to sort of explain and then they say, what kind of photography? And then, you know, when you use the term sort of multi-genre, which is I think overused and doesn't really mean much to anybody, but it's kind of true. It's not only landscape, it's not only flowers, it's not only street. So I say that like very briefly and then I hand them a card. I said, oh, if you'd like to look at my work, you know, check this out and I'd love to hear from you, like what you think or whatever, you know, if you have time, have a look. And the card is like in their hand and maybe they go home and throw it away or it ends up in their purse for the next 10 years. But sometimes people look and you never know. So it's just, you know, doesn't cost anything to do that. So I think in that way, it really identifies me as having, you know, a kind of the business side attached to my images. Yeah, I, I, and, I, and I love that approach. 
Um, handing, handing a business card is a great way to drive traffic uh, to your website, to your, to your art. And uh, I think that's a necessary element to have in your, in your wallet, your, your purse, whatever. Um, I do, I'm the same way. I have business cards on me. Every once in a while I run out and it's embarrassing uh, when people want to communicate with me and they want to connect with me forward, connect with me uh, forward beyond the moment that we're standing face to face. And I don't have a card in my hand. Uh, it's embarrassing, especially being a business owner. So, uh, but I but I do lead with I'm an artist, and I I also have to kind of change my my introduction depending on who I'm speaking with, because if I'm speaking with other photographers, I'm representing Photo Art Pavilion, and I'm representing how I help photographers and art photographers expand their visibility and their their sales of their of their artwork. Uh, if I'm speaking with a potential client or somebody that knows nothing about me, then I'm speaking more from the artistic side of it, my own work, and how I uh, would love to get my business card in their hand and help sell some, some of my artwork. So uh, I, I, I do agree with you, Sharon. I think having a business card is a, a great way to uh, extend the conversation beyond that face-to-face -face moment that you have. All right, I see John is raising his hand. John, let me unmute you. I, I kind of do the same thing. Uh, what I also do is mention, are you on Instagram? Particularly if you're with younger people because they connect to that. Mm -hmm. And I give them my card with my Instagram and say, hey, I post every Friday. If you see what, I wanna, you know, what I'm doing, feel free to take a look at it, follow me uh, and use that approach. I also use the term generalist to a generalist photographer because I cover all different subjects and areas that you know just kind of uh whatever tweaks my interest when mm -hmm. people ask me what type of photography i like that i like that approach as well uh and, and i know there are a lot of us that do you know have camera in hand uh photograph lots of different things mm -hmm. uh, and and we do have a broad portfolio but i've found i've been at it for so long i do find that i do gravitate towards nature and nat natural subjects. Yeah. And some of those natural subjects kind of morph into uh, abstract pieces. Uh, but for the most part, it's nature photography and, uh, and with, a, with a touch of abstract. I don't really do street. I've never really gotten into street, I guess, because it's where I live. I'm in, I'm not in a, a great area where I feel like street photography is a prominent uh, subject matter for me. I'm more in the nature mode and doing the different workshops that we do with Photo Art Pavilion. Um, you know, we're out and about several times a, a year in different um, natural habitats, if you will, that are just uh, just so beautiful. And it, it kind of brings my focus into that area. Plus, I love to travel. So uh, that also <laughs> takes into account when, whenever I'm traveling, uh, I'm, I'm usually looking at looking into some sort of a local park or a local uh natural habitat that uh, is very unique, uh, something I've not seen before, which then I tend to, you know, photograph those elements as well. Um, yeah, but yeah, I, I agree with you, John. We're all yeah. multi, multi. <laughs> yeah, well, I think the blog I just wrote kind of talks a little bit about who I am as a photographer. And yes. How I got there and, you know, kind of, um, you know, how you, you people used to perceive photographers to be successful you had to be specialized and kind of getting over that hump to say hey I take a lot of things that interest me mm -hmm. yeah so it's important yeah. it's great so Joanne I had an interesting interaction last night so okay. I, don't, I don't walk up to people and say hi hey, you know I'm an artist I you know I usually walk stay back I have an exhibit going on uh and somebody was looking at my work so I just walk up and I say do you like my art which automatically says I'm an artist without saying I'm an artist. And it's like a way to start a conversation. This one turned out to be really interesting because it was a woman uh, with a with a British accent and a uh, very, very cultured type woman. And uh, so we struck up a conversation and she asked me, you know, like, how did you get started? And so I said, well, you know, I, I started, I'm self, I'm most self, you know, self-taught. And I, you know, way back when I had the Time Life series on photography and I read it end to end, you know, multiple times and thought myself how to be a photographer. 
And she says, well, that's interesting because I'm a former editor of, of Life magazine. Oh, interesting. <laughs> so, you know, in the course of the conversation, I had said, you know, one of my dreams when I was much younger was that if I ever thought I could have a, you know, anything, you know, published in like something like Life magazine, that would be mm -hmm. like the ultimate, you know. Yeah. And she said to me, and it was really gratifying. She said, I can assure you, your work is good enough to be in, in the magazine. I would have chosen it. Right. So, I, you know, so it, it's starting the conversation and then just building on it, you know, so that, you know, and I can ask, you know, questions, you know, what do you like about that picture? How, you know, what does it make you feel? You know, those type of questions. And, you know, my thing is the longer I could get people to talk, the better, the <laughs> more likely I am to make a sale, you know, yep. so I, I help them attack, you know, get us you know, attached to the picture or, you know, get a, you know, feel an emotional response to the picture. But that was really interesting. That was like the first time that happened to me. That's, was, that's fantastic, Tony. My past came around with the person I was talking to. And, you know, yeah. it's fascinating. Yeah, so it's, it is fascinating. Like, just by asking people what, what do they like about your artwork? You know, says you're an artist and you right. engage them in a conversation. Right. And I, I think that, I think the, the point also, an underlying point, I should say, is that, we also tend to loosely use the word, I'm a photographer. But there's, again, multi genres of photography, right? We have wedding photographers, we have uh, baby photographers, portrait photographers, all different types of photographers. We're circling back to the artist element of it. So I ju I'm just trying to get us all thinking in the vein of artist. And Tony, you, 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 uh, you nailed it. So did Sharon. So did so did John. The fact that we're adding the word art or artist in front of the word photography, I think, sort of um, solidifies what it is that we do and where our true passion lies. Yeah, I've had a past of of doing portrait work. I've had a past of doing um, infant photography, which was a nightmare. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I, I, I know other photographers that have gravitated away from art photography and are doing strictly wedding photography. But what I'm talking to is this group, our group, our group of photo art pavilion artists and beyond that are uh, really focusing their, their, the click of the shutter to capture something artistic for the purposes of sales. The, the, end, the end goal is usually to create something that's artistic enough to put on a website to to make available for sale or to hang in a gallery so this is kind of where i'm trying to keep this mo this the mentality of in that vein of adding that word word art or artist to the word photographer or photography and let's try to build upon that years ago 2007 2007 right 2007 jessica and i started the long island photo gallery and uh, we were the only gallery on Long Island that dedicated its art to photographers and photographers only. And when we opened up our storefront in 2012, uh, our art gallery in 2012, we had folks coming in that were painters and sketch artists and all of this. And we said, I'm sorry, we don't represent you. We represent the art photographer the artist of photography, the art of photography. And uh, we would get some funky responses, <laughs> but at the same token, uh, I, I really am, I've been dedicated to the craft, the art craft of photography since 2007. So, uh, and that, I think that's why I'm, I'm a little bit passionate about this subject today is to be able to sit back when somebody says, what do you do? I am an artist, I make art art images, art photography, art nature photography. I make, I make, I make. Come up with the I make part and the rest is easy. And then from there, as Tony mentioned, Sharon mentioned, John mentioned, the conversation starts to flow. The opportunities open up because now you're no longer a closed book. You're an open book. And, they, and believe me, it's an interesting response because most people don't understand what is an art photographer. They understand what a wedding photographer is they understand what a portrait photographer is, but do they understand what an art photographer is? So that's something special. And I think we ought to be very proud of that. So I get bogged down in art speak. So it's taken me a long time to get to, I'm an artist and that photography, I've always felt that photography was an art, but 
early on in my career, it it wasn't ever considered art. Mm. You, know, you can get some cool images, but and also what and I've been in places where the artists kind of look down on photography. I think a lot of that's changed. And maybe that's because now everybody is a photographer with an iPhone and there's some fabulous images coming out with what people can do with an iPhone. So I think that mm -hmm. there's a more appreciation for photography and separating yourself out from the crowd as being a fine art photographer um, has been really wonderful. But when I have to write my bio or when I have to submit something to, um, you know, for a show, I get I get intimidated because I do not have an art school background. I have a commercial photography background um, and the art speak part of it throws me because I just I know what I like. I, I know how to create a, a, a nice image, but I don't know how to use those descriptions that you see in a lot of galleries or shows and 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 I get intimidated by that part of it and I don't know really how to um expand out of that like right now I'm I'm I have a, a show coming up a solo show and I have to write a bio <laughs> I have to do mm -hmm. all that stuff and it's just it's another day it's gone by because I just can't find the words to contact support me. how I feel, you know. Contact me, I'll help you. Okay, I appreciate well, that. Well, it's somebody else help you with it. It's yeah. Hard to write and, yeah. yeah, you know, and it's, it's um, you know, and I'm aware of it, you know, and, and I, I, I absolutely feel, you know, I'm an artist, you know, like those, those years of being like, oh, I'm just a photographer, uh, you know. Yeah. yeah it's not just a photographer it's it's an art you know an art um that i'm proud to be in right okay. and and what i mentioned also in my initial uh commentary was there's no required degree right. or certificate that allows you or permits you or whatever but i may feel like we need permission to call ourselves an artist i mean come on that's crazy there's no, no official education I mean, there are people that have studied art and they're fantastic. They understand art in a different way. That's up to them. That's who they are. But we are who we are. And just the fact that you don't have a certificate or a degree or any of that does not mean that you're not creating beautiful art. And you are. And if you are creating beautiful art, and even one more caveat, if you've sold your work, does that not constitute the fact that you are an artist? I was just, yeah, I was just going to say that because um, to have someone invest in your work is the validation that you are an artist. You generated, you created something that they are connecting to and gravitating to. And that is what a job of an artist is, is to create something that someone else has an emotional connection to or a um, some sort of connection to. And, you know, I know you've sold. So there's your validation. <laughs> and the fact that yeah. you have a you have a solo show. I mean, that's yeah, that's that's, huge. that's amazing. Now, Dawn, I hope that you're going to be sending out a direct email piece about your solo show. Well, I, I have postcards ready to do, like an actual mailing. Okay. You know, I've been I've been watching you ladies and you know, doing getting it all together. But um Jessica, the hanging of it is got me a little like, I don't know how we can work that out, but <laughs> well, you, um, you make it always seem so easy. <laughs> yes, so feel, I, free, I, feel free to reach out to us. We 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 have a little experience in all of those areas. Just playing Tetris. It's a physical yeah. game of Tetris. <laughs> May I ask where the show is? You might have some fans here who want to see yeah. your work. Oh, um, it's gonna be at the uh Art alcove at the Freeport Rec in right. Freeport. Very nice. nice. So, Congratulations. That's thank great. you. Thank you. Um, it's you know it's it's fun. It's exciting, but it's it's of a, a 
genre that I know, I mean, that I have been shooting in for a long time. But again, getting into the art speak of why this separates it out as fine art, mm -hmm. um, you know, because it's with plastic cameras and film. And it's so it's a it's a definite different genre of mm -hmm. photography. Yeah. Um, yeah. But, you know, I say that, but, you know, finding the, you know, yeah, the right scale art words just don't come naturally to me. All right. I can I can definitely help you with that, Dawn. You reach okay. out to me separately. Okay. We'll uh, we'll have a quick combo. Okay, great. Um, and I, I do want to actually chime in for a moment. Um, to me, the underlining theme of this chat is a connection. So because you are, you know, saying I am an artist or I am an art photographer, you're you're creating that connection with another person. And again, people want to connect with other people and to be able to have those moments and really have a conversation, um, either if it is in your marketing or if it is in real life, it's just, it's one more element of making another fan of what, what it is that you do and the beauty that you create. Um, I know for myself, I was just talking to a neighbor and they're in, you know, um, a science realm and they have no idea the understanding of art. They don't get it and it's fine, but they're so fascinated and asking questions. And because I you know, resonate with, I am an art photographer, I'm able to quickly come back with you know, conversation moments and really explain what it is that I'm doing or really show you know, what it is that, um, you know, how to create that beauty and how to share the beauty with everyone else that you know, gravitates to it. And again, it's, it's all about connection. And I love, I love it this, you know, February, you know, heart art month. <laughs> yep. It's um, you know, this this really is a great theme. Yeah. Thank good. you. On this yeah, appreciate it. Definitely. Good, 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 good. Is there anyone else who wants to chime in for um today's J and J? All right. Yes. Oh, I see a finger. Oh, Mary Jane, MJ. I I'm just learning how to use this uh system. So I just noticed that. <laughs> press the space bar and it unmutes you, you for a moment. One of the things is that I happen to have studied photography, but that's, I suppose, my burden to carry at this point. One of the things that is very clear to me is that whenever I'm usually having these conversations, usually my art is available and I work off the art. I remember asking somebody, because I do abstract photography, um, whether um, when I take something that's straight, whether I should be using that in the context of my work. And they said, teach, teach with it, like show the comparison. And it's really clear to me that you don't get something from, um, from uh, just moving a camera mm -hmm. while you're doing an exposure. You have to be doing that on something that you would photograph, no matter which technique you use, has to offer you an image that seduces you and hopefully you can transfer that, you know? Um, but, and, and I always sort of try to work off the art and always try to keep it so that I'm speaking to somebody. Mm -hmm. because people who are nervous in, in multiple pe person interviews and stuff like that, if they can find the person that they relate to and really try to communicate what's in their heart to that person, that's what's going to make the, the connection and make, make it work, right? And so mm -hmm. your card, even though our calling cards are, tend to be our websites these days, and we don't often see the direct um, spin-off of use of our business cards, that can provide you with an image if need be, if you're in a situation where you're doing an elevator, you know, mm -hmm. pitch or the equivalent thereof. Yeah. Um, anyway, yeah. uh, and uh, I, I'm also really aware when I'm speaking to a group of photographers, because even though I do abstract photography, I happen to be very interested and, and moved by the images that are unlike mine that many of you do in different forms and interested in the form, you know? Uh, at the end of the day, somebody who's talking to you about your art um, is invited, if they acquire a piece of your work is inviting your energy into their space 
So that energy that happens between you is really quite critical. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I've said enough. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, you know what? You, you, you nailed it. Uh, and I've said this in 2007, photography and art is a heart to heart connection. There's an exchange of love when you, there's something that brought you as the photographer, as the artist to photograph that scene, to process that scene, you fell in love with something. And then you fell in love with it so much that you put it up there for the public, the world to see. And then someone comes along and makes the purchase. They loved it too. You're exchanging an energy, you're exchanging a love. And I believe that very deeply in my heart and in my soul. And uh, I think that's probably why I remain connected to uh, to this business because I just enjoy it. I love it. Uh, it speaks to me every day. And I think all of us as artists, I think that's the way we feel deep inside. It's something that we just have a strong passion for and uh, it's unshakable, which is great. <laughs>